Thermal burns. Uh, this is when we have a, a high heat and we end up damaging the skin from that. What makes um, or what happens with the thermal burn is we have this transfer of heat energy. So we have a, an area that's hot and an area that's not so hot. And the difference in those two temperatures, so if, if that stove was 500 degrees, we would have a much larger uh, transfer of heat than if it was it was 200 degrees. And the other thing that, that plays in with how bad the burn could be is how long your, your contact is with it. So if I had actually had my hand on the, on the eye there and left it there for for several seconds, I would have a worse burn than if I had just touched it and it instinctively, reflexively removed my hand from it, and it was only a millisecond. So what makes thermal burns worse is how hot the the source of the, of the heat was and then how long they were in contact with it. Depending on how, how long and, and how, how hot things were, we may have these areas of burns. And we're used to, uh, or I think we've, we've learned these three different areas. Uh, maybe the term Jackson's theory of thermal burns might be new to you. <clears throat> but remember in the very middle of it where you had the most heat transferred, you're going to have the most damage. And that's the zone of coagulation. And this area, typically the tissue has, has died and is not going to um, heal back. Surrounding that is a zone of stasis, and this area is damaged, and we have some vasoconstriction, uh, but this area is potentially salvageable depending on how we treat the patient and treat the burn. If we stop the burning process and keep <clears throat> keep them from going into burn shock, we might be able to, to save this area. And then around that, we have the zone of hyperemia, and this area is typically just sort of red and inflamed, but um, should not have a decreased blood flow to the area and, and shouldn't have any problems with it. Um, losing that area, losing that tissue. If the zone of coagulation penetrates through the epidermis and down into the dermal layer or the um, adipose layer, then we have what we call a full thickness burn. If you have a large burn, typically greater than 15 to 20 percent, your body's going to go through these four phases. And the first one is the emergent phase. So this is when you first get burned, and you're going to, of course, it's going to hurt. There's the pain response because of that. You're going to have epi, norepinephrine, those catecholamines release. So you're going to have some tachycardia, and tachypnea, and, and all those signs or symptoms. Um, several hours later, your body's going to have an inflammatory response around the burn, and you're going to have um, some vasodilation and permeability. So you're going to have a lot of fluid shifting from inside the intravascular space to the intracellular or extracellular spaces around it, the interstitial space. And this fluid shift will cause some, some edema in the area. And if you have a large burn, uh, again, greater than 15 to 20 percent, this can actually cause a patient to start to go into shock as all the fluid shifts out of the blood vessels and into the, the uh, area of the burns. I'm um, kind of like to think that the body is trying to cool the burn off from the inside. Um, <clears throat> if they make it through that uh, fluid shift phase, then we enter a hyper um, metabolic phase, and this is typically days and weeks, um, so we won't see this pre hospitally. But really, what's happening here, and this goes with most any injury. As your body starts to heal and mend itself, it's just going to need a lot more energy. So it, it goes into a hypermetabolic phase. They're going to need more calories and the right nutrients to, to have things heal. And then uh, hopefully um, they make it through that. And then we have the resolution phase. And this is when we start to make new tissue. Um, a little bit of it will probably be normal tissue, but most of it will be scar tissue until um, the wound is completely sealed off and they can go through rehab. So hope that helps.